Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do a quick flip through of three new sewing pattern journals. These are sewing patterns for children's clothing. So the journals are a little bit different to my fashion, my women's fashion sewing pattern journals that I've done in the past. They're just a little bit more colorful, a little bit more cute and kitsch. So let me show you them. These will be up once you see the video um, you can assume that these are up live on my Etsy store and I am shipping them worldwide if you are interested. Now I'm still um, practicing my sewing and putting together of these journals and actually the patterns were ranged from being in very good condition like this one here which the condition of the pattern itself was really quite lovely. Um, just a couple of stains and things but it wasn't too... Um, too kind of scrunched up to this one here which the pattern itself is actually um it was actually in very bad condition so i had to do some patching on there um so definitely if you're wanting to purchase these or interested to purchase them make sure you, you you have a really good look there and you're quite happy with the condition that they're in because we know with vintage um items the condition varies and that's something that you just kind of have to to accept if you purchase um, one of these journals. So the first one I want to show you is this one. I haven't named the named them yet, but maybe I'll um, insert the name over the top of the over the top of the screen, um, or you'll just see them on my Etsy store. I'll give them a name once I've <laughs> once I've um, listed them. They're all one signature journals, so they are uh, simply a pamphlet stitched on the. Um, on the seam and uh, yeah they're all a one seam so let's go through this one is wrapped with an original Dean sewing um, sewing sewing <laughs> a measuring tape <laughs> oh my goodness a uh, yeah a sewing measuring a dressmaker's tape um, and it's lovely. It's kind of like a cottony kind of fabric material and it's made in England. So pretty cool, pretty cool way to bind the, um, the journal. Now this one, like I said, the condition of it is not so great. You can see a little bit of creasing there. Um, the sewing you can see along the side, but yeah, the, the, the pattern itself was in quite Quite, uh, quite terrible condition, but I'm very happy that I was able to save it. Once again, these these are going to go in the bin if no one saves them. And don't you just love the beautiful pictures on it? So um, if we open the page, there is a pocket here. And inside the pocket, I've just included the original sewing pattern. If you would like to use that in your own journaling. Each of them kind of um, starts the same. So we've got a doily. These here are printable pages. I don't usually work with printables, but I really liked the pattern of these and I thought it really went well with the, with the journal. And they're just blank on the back. We've got some lined paper, some pink paper, some pages from a 1960s children's annual. We've got some coloring in pages here, a fire, and it looks like a chicken. Some um, school book paper. And if you remember, anyone who remembers writing on this dotted thirds paper. Um, this is a dictionary page. A cute little cutout from a Lucy Atwell book, a page from an embroidery guide, and I think that's really quite pretty. Lined paper, so lots of places to do your own writing here. There's a little pocket made from that printable paper and a system card for you to do your own journaling. This is um, the other side of that colouring in book, and um, it's got some beautiful deer and a, and a bagpiper. Really cute. Some more lined paper. Here's a page from a magazine and it's an ad for fabric and it's got these beautiful kids on there. <laughs> We've got a page, um, I think actually it might not be from, was it from a magazine? Actually, I think it was from a magazine, yeah, 1960s, I think. Another page from the, um, the printable, some lined paper, music page, a page from, I think this was a fun with Dick and Jane book. This is an envelope, or one side of the envelope, some dotted paper, some more of that printable paper, and this here is another pocket, and I've included a system card and a purple, lovely purple vintage playing card. Page from a visitor's book, lined paper, front cover of an um, Enid, Enid, Enid. Enid something. I've forgotten her last name. Anyway, she was a she wrote a lot of these children's sewing books. So this was the front cover of one called Play Clothes. Some more dotted thirds. 
another pocket page. This one's a pocket or a little um, tuck, side tuck. Page from a 1970s Simplicity sewing book or sewing um, pattern catalogue. Another pocket page with a little, little system card here, a little square system card. So really quite plain, definitely fantastic for you to do your own journaling and embellishing. Another little pocket here. This is the middle page. We've got a bingo card and I've also tucked in a little mini doily there. This is a cutout from a children's book, which I've cut out and I uh, kind of done like a bit of a fussy cut on there and stuck it in. It's really quite pretty. Another pocket with a Scotty Dog card. Some lined paper, music paper. The other side to that Simplicity catalogue. So this is, once again, really perfect, these journals for you to do your own embellishing and your own adding and adding of your memories and things. There's a little pocket here, which is actually an envelope. Another page from the Fun with Dick and Jane book. Another little side tuck page. Some pattern pages. The other side of those um, children's books. I've just put some of this lace tape here, another pocket, some embroidery paper, lined paper, dictionary paper, lined paper, colouring book, comic pages, <laughs> this one here. And that brings us to the end, another little side tuck and a doily right at the end and just this little girl in green. And you've got a pocket in the back as well so you can fill that with what you like. So really quite simple, quite plain. Um, they'll be quite a reasonable cost if you're looking to purchase one of these um, and fill it with your own with your own things. You can definitely do that. So this one here will be up on my Etsy store. Let's move on to the next one. This one here is the the um, the pattern is in a lot better condition and it's wrapped with this lovely kind of linen-y lace or thick cotton lace. Look at it up close. Please keep in mind my stitching and my sewing is not perfect, but I think it gives it a little bit of charm. And these have I've put some little patches on there as well, just to cover up some staining on the on the pattern. And here is the back. Alright, let's have a look inside. So again, you've got a pocket which you can put your own bits and bobs. This one I don't have the pattern for, so there's no pattern in this one's pocket. It's a cute little apron fox. Here's the little um, tab from the top of the pocket, and it says, looks like it says Betty on there. So Betty must have owned the, um, she must have owned the pattern. Music paper, dictionary paper, so kind of similar stuff to the last one. All the things you are. It's so nice. Another page from Fun with Dick and Jane. Another Scotty Dog card. So much the same stuff as the last one. System card, a pink envelope, some dyed paper, a little fold out page here. I love this page from a children's annual. Sunshine Susie, isn't that cute? <laughs> Little colouring in page, pink dyed paper, princess style here. Very cute. Music paper, lined paper. Another comic book page. The middle page here. I love that these kind of yellow went with the yellow in the background. Another of those purple playing cards. Oh, I've <laughs> I've put them together. Hold on, I've I, uh, paper clipped the pages together. Oh, bingo card. It's the bingo card and the little doy that is stuck on this side.
lined paper, green dyed paper, more lined paper, more of that lovely purple flowery paper. I love these little Lucy Atwell fussy carts. They're very cute. I, I have been, you know, looking through a lot of the sewing patterns at my op shops, the op shops lately. I haven't been able to find many vintage ones. So, so yeah, it's been something that I haven't been able to do as much of. And these ones I've actually had sitting around for a while, just put, wanting to put some finishing touches on them. But I'm pretty sure that they're completely done now. And I'd love for whoever purchased them to do their own, um, to do their own little, little, put their own touches on it, definitely. So there is that one. I love that one. It's very sunny and bright. And our last one here is a bit of a mishmash of all different things. I really love the um, the fabric binding on this. It was actually, I think it was an, uh, a curtain or upholstery fabric from the 1970s, I believe. And then this is just some, um, some vintage rickrack. The pattern here, you can see there's a little bit of scuffing on the pattern. I've covered up some of the stains and things with some patches. I haven't sewed over these patches just because um, the pocket inside, I didn't want to sew down the pocket. Um, and the back, you can see my willy-nilly sewing. <laughs> so let's have a look inside. Inside, you've got more of that beautiful fabric from the spine and the original pattern. We've got these kits and these kind of, I don't know, what would you say these patterns were? They're quite Eastern European kind of embroidery type looking patterns. We've got the top of the original pattern some pink paper, some comic book paper, coloring book, dictionary page, some coffee stained paper, more from that embroidery book, which has had the paper was so pretty. Mind paper, another little pocket with a system card, this cute little coloring in book page, a little page on jackets. <coughs> And some patterns. Oh, empty page. Music page. Page from Fun with Dick and Jane. Another little fussy cut of that same yellow flower that was in the other journal. We've got a lovely pocket here with a system card. A page from a visitor book. Another little Lucy Atwell cutout. comic book pages, a side tuck page, page from um, Enid Gilchrist, that's the name, Enid Gilchrist book, a little doily, page from an annual, to make and do, that's really cute, pocket, a little system card, oh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I must have trimmed it and then it got stuck. A little purple playing card. The middle page with a bingo card and a doily. So much the same as the others. Scotty dog. Mind paper, music paper, annual page. Some ledger paper, doily. This one says Barbie the model girl. I don't think it's an actual Barbie page. <laughs> it came in an annual. I think it was a Tina, one of those Tina annuals. This cute little tag I've put in there. It's a, it says doll and it's got some lines on the back. So really a very nostalgic, cute little journal. You'd make a lovely little display piece or somewhere to put your own. Just put your thoughts, you know. What you do with a junk journal below i'm really interested to know what people have done with um junk journals that they've made themselves or they've bought from me or they've bought from somebody else let me know what you do with them 
I use my travel and my cooking junk journals just to, you know, put, put photos and things that I've collected in. I use them in replacement of like a shoebox <laughs> to put to put like papers in really a little storage solution it's quite cute and then you have another pocket on the back there so they are the three journals this has been quite a little quick little video compared to the other ones that I do when I show my journals but um yeah these will be up at my Etsy store let me know if you enjoyed them and I hope we'll, I will see you in another video soon. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe um, and like this video and send me a comment. I love reading people's comments. Even if I don't always get to replying to you, I read them all when I wake up in the morning and they make my day. So thank you so much for everyone who is watching and subscribing and liking um, and enjoying my videos. Bye.